Welcome, folks. This is Tom O'Brien of TFNN. We go five days a week. We're seven hours a day. We go 24 hours a day in the internet at TFNN.com. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about whatever you focus on grows. Hope everyone's having a great day, safe day. It's making a great night, folks. Let's take a look at one of our four agreements. Don't take anything personally. Your truth is personal to you. Your own opinions and point of view reflect your own agreements and are personal to you. It's no one's truth but your own. Market wise, let's take a look at it out here. We have the Dow Industrials up 56, Nasdaq's up 8, S&P's up 7.5, gold contract down $9.60, trading at 17.18 an ounce. We have silver up 15 cents, $18.41 an ounce, light sweet crude up a buck 25. $83.19 a barrel, notes and bonds. You get the 10-year note right now. That is uh, down six ticks, trading 115.31. The 30-year is down 12 at 133.26, and we have the 10-year yield in 3.28. So the highs for the last three months is uh, 3.4, the low is uh, 2.5. Let's just look at that for six months for a second, just to see. Look at that, yeah, six months, 1.8. And 3.4, and then a year. This is going to be shocking. 1.2. Well, 1.2 1 .2 to 3.4. Still a big number. And King Dollar. King Dollar right here. Down 157 ticks, trading 109.683. The euro is at 99. The yen is trading at 144. And the British pound is at 114 to 1 US dollar. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. Give us a call, folks. Want to know what's going on in your world. In the world of the S&Ps, let's take a look at them. What do you have? Well, let's take a look at this, baby. So, I mean, well, let me pull up the S&P first because this was something else. And, you know, what happens, you know, you've heard me say this before, okay? In a bull market, all the surprises are to the upside. In a bear market, all the surprises are to the downside. And, you know, you talk about volatility, man. Uh you had this S&P go down 50 points like in a heartbeat and you know it hit a low it hit the look what it did is this it came into the the low that was established well ab above the low that was established at uh, at the opening bell you know that being said um, it doesn't have any juice to the upside either you know the what, what happened here this were in the so I'm on a 10 minute bar and this 10 minute bar is getting volume also so that puts the odds that you're going to go right back downtown. You know, it brings the odds higher. Let's put it that way. There's no doubt about that. That's on the uh, E-minis. If we go to the uh, NQs, we take a look at the NQs. What you're going to see, I pull the NQs up. That's the NASDAQ futures. You're going to see that did the same thing. Let me see this. Uh, so we just got volume on that bar, uh, volume. Yeah, it's, it's going down to the lows, man. This thing's going to go after the lows once again. Pretty intense, man. It's, that's volatility in spades, man. That, that is, let's see this thing. Yeah, I mean, you, you don't see a lot of 10-minute bars, folks, that have, this 10-minute bar is 50 points. 50, five, zero. And that 10-minute bar uh, hit the bell at noontime today. Noontime was the number. So, problems in paradise. Uh, that's that's the way this is set up. Let's go take a look at some of. The, well, actually, let's go into the NDX 100 first and take a look at the NDX and see where this sets up. Uh, the strength. Regeneron's got something going on. That's up 18, almost 19 percent. Moderna's up three and a half. Mercado Libre's up uh, 3.6, and DocuSign's up 3.6. I believe DocuSign is coming out with uh, numbers after the close. Taken away from it, um, Kraft Heinz is down 3.7. Pace Car is off uh, 3. NetEase is off 2. Uh, and you get Old Dominion is down 2.36. Uh, Let's see Old Dominion for, because what's going on there? One second. Old Dominion. One second, let me do it this way. One second. Because that's the trucking line, man. And if that's getting crushed, I see it's going to go down to the lower end of consolidation. Okay, so if you start seeing these trucking lines get crushed, man, yeah, it's not that bad. 
That's, that's, that's off a high, but it's, it's not that bad. That's the real bottom line. If we go take a, a look at the Dow Industrials, take a look at the strength versus the weakness inside the Dow. Uh, the strength out here, point-wise, you have uh, Goldman Sachs, 26 positive points, United Health 23, Salesforce 17 taken away from it, Apple minus 14, you got Honeywell minus 13, uh, 3M uh, minus 9. Now let's go look at Harmony Gold because we're getting some questions, there's no doubt, about what the heck's going on with Harmony. Uh, this thing got absolutely smoked uh, yesterday. And, well, not just yesterday, no, actually last week, okay? So, let's bring this back. How many, when you take a look at this, so the low in Harmony is 216, $2.16, the high is 550. That's this year. Pull this back. Okay, so, well, yeah, this still can test 211 or something. You see that breakout? That's where it broke out from. Um... Now, there's still, let me just look at where they're shaking out here. So, yeah. They're losing $1.72 a share this year. The thing that's really weird, man, is that they're saying that they're going to make money next year, but I don't know how they're going to go from losing $1.72 to making $7.91 in one year. The market's not saying that, that's for sure. I'll take a look at that a little bit more, but right now, that's what it looks like it's going to go test. It's going to test that uh, area out. Uh, Great Panther, since we're on it, that's a, that's, they're going BK. Great Panther, um, you know, bottom line, yeah, they're open, they're down 10 cents, but they filed. They filed for bankruptcy. And this is, this is a heads up in general, okay? Um, the reason I would say it's a heads up is that, you know, you do have a producer that, you know, evidently ran into some trouble because you can see they must have, you know, they're still doing 211 million, but bottom line is that they filed for bankruptcy yesterday. So some of the higher volume equities out here, and uh, this will be a low volume market out here today, I suspect, unless we get another downdraft. But you get Advanced Micros up $2. You get uh, Apple uh, is down $2. Uh, Lyft is up 2 bucks. We got... Uh, Verizon's up 12 cents. Pelletier's up 15. Bed Bath and Beyond is up uh, 13. Plug Power's up a dollar 20. Stay right there, folks. Come right back.